Amen. The wind has let up quite a bit. Still a little bit on the breezy side out there, but nothing like it was overnight this morning. We had some locations with gusts as high as 50, a couple of spots near 60 miles per hour. But yeah, we'll take that three mile per hour wind at Idle Falls. A little windier at Pocatello at 17. Unfortunately, we're not done yet with the wind. And some of us not done yet with the snow right now. We are seeing some snow just to the east. Looks like Rexburg might be seeing a little bit of snow, but basically east over the Big Hole Mountains as that spills into Teton County. And we got snow, of course, on over the Tetons on the leeward side. Rain snow mix over in Franklin County. So yeah, little spots out there. Generally, though, most of us, most of us being the Snake River Plain, are done with the rain and snow, at least for tonight. More clouds on the way, but we are seeing them thin out a little bit off towards the west. There is a cold front, though, just off the coast of Washington. That will leave its mark on us tomorrow. Well, that will bring with it more wind, the potential of more snow. We're at 31 in Idle Falls, Pocatello. Wow, it is mild out there. In fact, we're milder then Salt Lake City, Salt Lake City 41. We're in the mid-40s in the Gate City. Mid-50s over in Boise. They're the warm spot on the map. Of course, colder up in Big Sky Country. You'd expect that. We have 330s, one in Butte, West Yellowstone, and Billings. We're looking at 30 for low in Rexburg and St. Anthony with a mostly cloudy sky. We'll stay above freezing for the lower Snake River Plain. There is a chance of snow for the Central Mountains tonight. All of us will be freezing cold and then some. Snow showers will be hit and miss for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. And then for the southeast corner, there's a chance of more snow. Picked up a couple inches of snow in Montpelier. And then it rained like nobody's business. Had a lot of wind there too, as uh, Steve Coons reported. Wind gust of 57 miles per hour. Not as windy tomorrow, but snow likely. Light dusting to a couple inches is there tomorrow and for the upper highlands west of Wyoming. The wind will mainly be in the morning and then snowfall total one to four inches tonight through tomorrow. Snow possible for the central mountains with high temperatures struggling a little bit. Most areas not even above freezing. Well, we'll get above freezing tomorrow for the Snake River Plain. More wind and a chance of snow showers. Your southeast Idaho Chevy dealers forecast. Uh, we got Sunday, mainly sunny, not as windy, but we're colder. Yes, yeah, temperatures cool off in the wake of that cold front. And it looks like our next chance of snow after that won't be until next Friday. So we have kind of a, some quiet weather, calmer weather to, to enjoy. Idle Falls, same thing. We got a potential snow tomorrow, colder Sunday. Look at the lows down to single digits. We could see snow Thursday and Friday. And for the Teton area, we got snow and wind tomorrow. And then look at that sunshine. We'll enjoy a clear sky at night though. Minus one tomorrow night, or I should say Sunday night into Monday morning. And for the Central Mountains, half and half weekend, snowy possible tomorrow. Lots of sunshine on Sunday and colder. So bundle up again.